in this video we'll be looking into computing first and follow of the given grammar so uh, before finding the first and follow we should write the uh, rules right of first first let's compute first so the rule one says that if the production is of the form a derives x where x is a terminal then first of a is equal to x rule two states that if a derives x1 x2 then first of a is equal to non epsilon first of x and here if x1 derives epsilon then first of x1 first of a is non epsilon first of x1 and so on and the rule 3 states that if a derives epsilon then first of a is equal to epsilon so first is pretty easy to compute so let's start so let's write all the productions one by one and compute the first of a and we all, we should also mention the rule number so let's take the first production here that is e derives t e dash Comp here t is a non terminal so when t is a non terminal we apply the second rule that is first of e is equal to non epsilon first of t non epsilon first of t we'll write what non epsilon first of t is so we'll keep it non epsilon uh, first of t we don't know it so we have applied rule to here let's put a blank line here next let's move on to the second production that is e dash derives second production is e dash derives plus t e dash so here plus is a terminal so when a derives x when x is a terminal so first of a is x itself so first of e dash is plus itself applying rule 1 then we have e dash derives epsilon when uh, e dash derives epsilon we use the rule 3 that is first of a here is e dash gives epsilon this is using rule 3 so we have solved for the second production also now let's look into the third production that is t derives ft dash so t derives ft dash uh, for here it is non terminal so first of t is equal to non epsilon first of f non epsilon first of f we don't know so applying rule 2 here then we have t dash moving on to the next production that is t dash derives star ft dash so here star is there so first of t dash gives star and t dash derives epsilon so first of t dash is epsilon using rule 1 and rule 3 here and looking into the last production f derives open parenthesis e so here you need to consider the leftmost uh, variable so here it is open parenthesis which is a terminal so first of f gives open parenthesis and we have f derives id also here id is also a non terminal so first of f is also id so this is using one and one and one yes so here we have computed first of all now let's start filling the values which are unknown so f derives the first of f is open parenthesis and id okay we know this so next first first of t dash is star into epsilon we know this fine now first of t is non epsilon first of f non epsilon first of f uh, refers to so look at first of f first so it is open parenthesis id is there any epsilon here no there's no epsilon so you can write it as it is if there was any epsilon then you had to eliminate the epsilon that's what non epsilon first of f refers to then for e dash you have plus sign epsilon and for e it is non epsilon first of t look at uh, first of t first of t is open bracket id so it is same here open bracket and id so you have computed first for all the productions now let's compute follow for all the productions so let me write the rules here so rule 1 is for the start symbol so follow of s would be dollar rule 2 is if the production is of the form a alpha b and beta and b is a non terminal then follow of b is equal to non epsilon first of beta and rule 3 is of the form a derives alpha b beta and a derives alpha b 
along with that beta should derive epsilon then first of b is equal to first uh, follow of b is equal to follow of a so let's start solving uh, for the follow so let me write the productions here let me write the productions here one by one and here follow and here the rule number so let's start with the first production that is e derives t e dash so e derives t e dash e being the start symbol we write follow of e is equal to dollar so this is by using rule 1 then we have we need to compare this with the uh, rule 2 that is a derives alpha b and beta so here we take a is equal to e alpha is epsilon there's nothing in place of alpha uh, then b is equal to t and beta is equal to e dash so according to rule 2 we can write follow of b here is t follow of t is equal to non epsilon first of beta beta is e dash so let's look at the first of e dash first of e dash comprises of plus and epsilon so non epsilon, non epsilon first of e dash is excluding the epsilon whatever is there write it down so plus is there so write plus there this is using the second rule uh, now let's apply the third rule also that is that is uh, it is of the same form a derives alpha b beta so for that you write follow of t is equal to follow of e which is unknown and then you can apply the second rule also that is a derives alpha beta so in the place of uh, alpha you take t so let me write it here again it is e derives t e dash can be written as uh, can be compared with the form a derives alpha b a derives alpha b where alpha is equal to t and b is equal to e dash so then you can write follow of b that is e dash is equal to follow of e that is unknown this, this was rule 3a this was rule 3b so now let's move on to the second production let me write the production here e dash derives plus t e dash so comparing this with the uh, comparing this with the second equation that is uh, a derives alpha b beta so b is t beta is e dash so by the second uh, formula we can write follow of t is equal to non epsilon first of e dash that is non epsilon first of e dash is plus so let's write plus is here this was using rule 2 and now by using rule 3 a we can write follow of t is equal to follow of e dash that is unknown here so let's write 3 a here and if you compare this with a derives alpha b so alpha would be plus t and b would be e dash in this case you can write follow of e dash that is a is equal to follow of b that is again e dash which is the same so you need not write this this is understood now looking into the third production uh, the next production that is e dash so whenever e dash derives epsilon you need not consider it because it's a non-terminal right so don't consider it so there has to be at least one uh, there has to be at least one non-terminal present to compute follow so there's no uh, uh, terminal here right there's no non-terminal here so in that case you can just neglect uh, epsilon so moving on to the other next production that is t derives ft dash so you can write by using the second formula follow of follow of f is equal to non epsilon first of t dash that is star this was using two a derives alpha b beta now using the sec uh, using the th three a equation you can write follow of f is equal to follow of t that is unknown three a and if you compare with uh, a derives alpha b so in that case you can write follow of t is equal to follow of t sorry follow of t dash is equal to follow of t that is unknown 3b now let's look into the next production that is t dash derives star f t dash so comparing this with a derives alpha b beta and a derives alpha b so in that case by using the second formula we can write follow of uh, follow of f b follow of b is equal to non epsilon first of t dash that is star 
so this was using two next you can write follow of f is equal to follow of t dash is equal to unknown that is using 3a and next you can write follow of t dash is equal to follow of t dash which is the same this is 3b now let's look into the next production t dash derives epsilon you need not consider it so f derives e dash yes you have to write that because there are uh, there is a non terminal here followed by a terminal so in that case you should write it so f derives open parenthesis e and close parenthesis in this case you can compare it with a derives alpha b and beta in that case it would be follow of e would be non epsilon first of a terminal that is the terminal itself this is using rule 2 so uh, rule 2 the so you need not uh, look into id because again as i said id is a terminal so when only single terminal is there you need not consider it so we know we have got that follow of e is open bracket yes follow of e is open bracket and follow of e is dollar symbol so follow of e is open bracket and dollar symbol so let's let's compute a table here referring the table you can easily fill these values okay so first let's fill the first values first of e is first of e is open bracket and id then first of e dash is plus and epsilon first of t is open bracket and id again then first of t dash is um, star and epsilon and first of f is open bracket and id again so follow of e we have got dollar and along with that we have got follow of e is open bracket yes so our next step yes we have got follow of e so looking at follow of t dash so t dash is unknown right so let's write a follow of f it comprises of star yes and follow of t comprises of plus so whatever is stored in uh, e dash whatever is stored in uh, follow of e would be stored in follow of e dash also so follow of e has dollar and open bracket so similarly follow of e dash would also be dollar and open bracket that is dollar and open bracket and on this case a follow of t is also equal to follow of e that is dollar and open bracket so here follow of t we have plus and then follow of t is also dollar and open bracket yes and here if you come follow of t is follow of e dash e dash what is e dash e dash has a uh, dollar open bracket and follow of t dash would be follow of t is stored in follow of t dash follow of t is stored in follow of f follow of t is stored in follow of t dash that is the uh, plus dollar follow of t that is plus yes plus follow of t is e dash it is a dollar and epsilon so yes moving on to um, follow of f so this is how we compute the first and follow of given grammar i hope you have understood all the steps if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you